Hello, today I'd like to demonstrate my new uh, tape head amplifier module, the IEC tape head. It's a really simple 2HP amplifier, but it has a very, very high impedance input um, intended for a tape head and also a equalization curve for uh, linearizing um, the playback of magnetic tape. So the idea of the module is it kind of fits into a wider system, which I'm calling uh, Music to Play-Doh. And it's all about harking back to the origins of electronic music and using found sound and uh, recordings, you know, magnetic tape recordings, and manipulating them to create uh, interesting kind of um, arrangements. So yeah, in this patch, um, I've kind of got our tape head module and we're going to listen to that first but um, as well as that I thought it'd be worth just explaining a bit of the stuff that comes with the module you'll get a tape head uh, which I hand make and go to a bit of effort to make sure the noise is as low as possible by doing some shielding stuff um, and yeah you'll see there the, the gaps on the tape head aren't perfectly in the middle so just bear that in mind we'll I'll explain in a sec um, as well as that you'll need some magnetic tape and here uh, I've got the sample bundle that you'll get with uh, the module and you'll also want a sound board and if you can get some felt because I found this is really good it improves the playback massively because it, it enables kind of a better contact with the head but it also allows me to uh, use it kind of as a guide to steady my hand uh, so first of all let's just have a listen to this bit of tape I think it's a um, English to German translation and like I said just be aware of uh, where the head the gap is in this case I'm gonna have it on the outer side um, furthest away from me and then I can use my finger so we'll just scratch until we find some there we go and then I'm Yep, using that, I'll just turn it up a little bit more. That's better. So we've got a bit of, um, yeah, vocals on there. I find vocals are great for manipulating with this. Um, yeah, and in this patch, we're going to just chuck it through uh, Rick Holt's awesome stasis leak delay. Because why wouldn't you? to create this kind of um, yeah pseudo uh, tape delay but super playable Great. Um, as well as that we've got it patched up so that uh, anything we can hear we can now crossfade over and play it back with the tape sampler. And then chuck that all into a delay. Loop it. So as well as this sample pack of kind of music concrete bits, uh, I'm going to be making a new one every month and um, yeah, maybe I'll put these up for sale as well. But um, I hope this has helped you just uh, see how the module works, a little bit about how to patch it and um, just give you a bit of information on what comes with it. So yeah, hope everybody um, has fun experimenting with this and finding new ways of using your Eurac system um, with old techniques. Uh, peace, love and patching. Bye now.